Hello everyone, Gifted Soul here, back for another Pippi card reading, and today's reading is going to be really simple. This is just going to be regarding a yes or no question. Now, keep in mind that when you get a personal reading from me, I do not touch subject or touch bases on certain subjects. That would include health, mental health, and other disorders, and also pregnancy, fertility, and death. So keep that in mind. Um... But pretty much, I guess you can ask any question here as long as it is formed in a yes or no fashion. And again, keep in mind not to make any life-changing decisions based on a reading from me. So let's get started. So I have three piles as usual. I have my amethyst here and my rose quartz here just to help me with the energy of the reading. It is not a part of the piles. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to move this here. If you need more time, please just pause and then when you are ready, click play or find your selected option in the timestamps, which will be in the description box and a pinned comment. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go with pile one. Okay, so let's see what pile one's question is, or what the answer would be, rather. So we have seven of wands in reverse. We have two of wands. We have forgiveness. We have cleanse and detoxify. So it looks like to get what you want in regards to this question, there's a need to get rid of things that no longer serve you, whether it's substances, whether it's, um, it could even be overeating, um, maybe a need to drink more water. It could be literally anything, getting rid of toxic people, um and just surrounding yourself with positivity and things that are healthy and so cleansing and detoxify it says with great love and respect we ask you to detoxify your precious and sense of the body at your request will help you to develop life affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sorrow at, sh at shedding your old ways give your cares worries and concern to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body so yeah, so there's a lot of things holding you back from getting what you are wanting. But it's up to you to kind of walk away from those things and those situations. So with seven of wands in reverse, it looks like the obstacles that were once in your way are kind of dying down. Um, so that's going to provide with two of wands progress, continuing to move forward and allowing for yourself to get back on top and have um a structure a balance of not you know i feel like not needing anyone or needing anything to get you there i feel like you can do this on your own so definitely i would say your answer to whatever question that you have asked is a yes it looks like most of you may be asked about possibly a hobby some of you may even be a fire sign which we have leo sagittarius or aries or it just could be that these are the placements that are in your energy at this time and this is a need to let go of doubt and just forgive yourself for anything for any missed opportunities that you may have um yeah missed out on so yeah so again i get that this is a yes so congratulations now sometime depending on the question you ask you could ask a more negative question so take it as it resonates but whatever the case is it looks like you're going to get to where you are needing to be so definitely a yes i forgot this card to be fair so being fair to yourself let go of letting go of one-sided relationships whether it's friends with your family members co-workers whoever letting go of that because that is something that is also holding you back being fair with yourself and being fair with others as well but yeah so that's a yes so i wish you guys love and like thank you for stopping by please remember to like comment share subscribe and let me know what you want to see next 
Uh, also, if you would like a personal reading, links will be in the description box below, as well as these decks if you would like to purchase them. Love and light. Hello everyone, welcome to those of you who have picked Pile 2. This is a simple yes or no question, so this video is likely going to be shorter than my usuals. Um, and I'm not using as many decks. These are not a part of the reading. This is just to help me with the energy of your reading so that I connect more stronger. And um, yeah, so this is my one of my amethysts and one of my uh, rose quartz. So let's get started. Please do refer to the intro to get a sense of what this reading is going to be about, what to ask and what not to ask, things of that nature. So let's see. Do we have a yes or a no? Do not be afraid, guys. I know what you're thinking. That tower showing up. Now, this is one of those cards that can be negative or positive depending on the way you look at it. This is about unexpected changes. Sometimes it can refer to spiritual awakenings and even destruction, but a lot of times it's just about the unexpected um, and a need to go through something to get to a better place so we have knight of pentacles we have helpful people oops i'm trying to we have perfect timing and we have thinkers so it looks like there is a lot of over analyzing regarding whatever you have asked i feel like maybe you have asked a lot of different psychics you've watched a lot of different videos on this you're kind of just a little bit obsessing over the subject or whatever it is and spirit is saying to yes we want to think logically we want to have some sort of answer but spirit said is that it is okay to not know everything perfect timing is saying to work in divine timing it talks about letting go of your ego's timing when we want things to happen they often don't happen because it's not meant for them to happen at that time so i feel like this is going to be a no to whatever question you ask but this is because you're heavily focused on it i feel like you may not be asking the right people for help and also it's just not the right time. I don't know if I said that already, but it's just not the right time. So I'm going to say a not right now. Definitely changes can happen and this can turn into a yes. Um, with Knight of Pentacles, I do see you doing a lot of fighting to get to the top. And you definitely can get there. But you have to let yourself go through this moment. And... Spirit is saying to stop trying to force something to work. So it says, now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are right for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. Um, and I do feel like, like I said, there is a need to maybe get a better support group. It's not that these people don't care about you. It is just the fact that they may be giving you misleading information so spirit is saying to go to another source for help looks like some of you may have asked about finances um and maybe even earth signs if not earth signs you just have strong placements of this in your energy at this time and with earth we're talking about taurus capricorn and virgo um could be on other areas of your chart as well or even about someone close to you and then we have 44 with the thinker so spirit says let go of also any judgments that may be holding you back because i feel like you're being too critical over a certain situation and that is what is holding you back so i'm gonna say no but this isn't saying that you can't get there eventually you're gonna have to wait for it so it's not even necessarily a no it's just a not right now not right now um yeah you have to let yourself feel certain things so i wish you guys love and light i thank you for stopping by please remember to like comment share subscribe let me know what you would like to see next in the comments i would love to interact with you guys more um and i hope to see you guys in the next one also if you like to book a personal reading links will be down in the description box below love and light hello everyone welcome to those of you who have picked pile three this is going to be a reading based on a yes or no question that you may have um 
I have my crystals here. This is not a part of the reading, just to help me with the energy. I have my uh, amethyst and a rose quartz. So let's get started. So simple yes or no answer with some brief detail here to see why maybe you got the answer that you did, what you can do to change your outcome, things like that. So we have three or four of pentacles. I don't know why I said three. It's because I wasn't looking at the bottom there. We have eight. Okay, so I have to pause for a brief second, but that is eight of cups. There is something better. Okay, family and building blocks. Okay, number 28. Okay, so with this, as far as if this is a yes or no, I'm going to say before I get to that, it looks like maybe you are needing to focus on family. Um, for some of you, for others of you with the Eight of Cups, this is about kind of leaving certain things behind. Um, there's a better route for you to take in order to get to what you want out of this situation or regardless or regarding whatever question you've asked. You have Four of Pentacles. It does talk about stability. It looks like some of you may have asked about finances, possibly love or something related to um I feel like some type of new beginning if that makes sense like trying to start fresh with something and spirit says you're not going about it the right way there is a need for you to um take a new approach so sometimes when this comes up this isn't about wholeheartedly moving on from the idea this is about finding another way to get there your current way is holding you back so we have the family card the situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member which we can help you to understand and heal in your mind and heart surround this person yourself and the experience with calming blue light and many angels be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace so um and with building blocks it looks like you have worked really hard towards something you've kind of maybe even financed it yourself or you have been doing a lot of things on your own and it's funny because the other two piles while they're not the same answers they do kind of give the same advice uh it's about knowing that you can do things by yourself and you don't need other people but regardless of this i do feel like this is a yes answer to be honest i kind of feel like it's half and half but for the most part it is a yes because four of pentacles talks about stability it talks about being secure in what you have but it also talks about being possessive so try not to get too focused on materialistic things or things that are not imperative because those are going to hinder your uh progress so yeah but i feel like because of the work you've done you're going to get there so i'm going to say this is kind of like a maybe but i'm leaning more towards yes but it is up to you to decipher whether or not it is a yes or no at this point because the energy is kind of just kind of a little mixed with this pile so maybe you i feel like some of you had multiple questions and you didn't know which one to ask so you said hey i'm just gonna look at the cards here in this video and see what it is that comes up and just see what she says because i feel like that's that's just the energy I feel. A lot of you weren't sure if you wanted to ask about love, if you wanted to ask about money, if you wanted to ask about career, just things in general. So you just were like, let me... I feel like this is also what the family card is about. This is about you going through a number of things, a family of issues, not necessarily involving your family, but that you have multiple issues that you don't really... It's, just, it's like you don't know which one is more important. You don't know if you need to maybe focus on something else just a lot of mixed energy but i do see stability coming to you and whatever it is you are wanting you can get it um i do feel like you have worked on it spirit says maybe you are missing a few blocks but that shouldn't stop you on your path um but yeah i'm gonna say definitely a mixed answer but again take a new approach to the situation there's a need to I feel like this is about walking away from the old things, from the old 
way of getting through things. This is about finding a new coping mechanism, a new um, route to being successful, and just a new way around everything in your life. And then for some of you, this is about spending more time with your family or those that you may feel like your family or your support team or whatever you may call it. So I wish you love and light. And it's also maybe possibly about you have started something with your family, some type of business or some type of family tradition, something that has been passed down. Um, and so I feel like maybe there needs to be some changes within that as well for some of you that may be going through that. So I wish you love and light and thank you for stopping by. Please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you would like to see me do next in a comment. And I hope that this resonates. If it does, please let me know. I would definitely like to interact with you guys more. Love and light. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.